You're listening to the Mark and Russia podcast, broadcasting from the belly of the bear in Chelyabinsk, Russia. Kick back and enjoy the show. Don't be a pussy. In three, two, one. Welcome to episode number 58 of the Mark and Russia podcast. Although my usual thrust for this podcast is either English language learning or politics, I'm coming up empty this week in terms of language instruction, and I'm coming in much too full in terms of politics. If I write about politics at this moment, it'll sound just like some crazy rant. I mean, granted, I'll feel a little bit better afterwards, but it'll still sound a little bit crazy. So, like my last podcast, I'll talk a bit more about my hobby, podcasting, and some new toy I recently bought to support my hobby. You can check out all of my podcasts at www.markinrussia.com. My new toy is the Triton Audio Fethead Inline Microphone Preamp. This little unit plugs directly into your XLR mic cable, and its power is supplied from the 48-volt phantom power put out by your mixer. The phantom power only goes as far as the fethead and does not reach your mic. In my last episode, I mentioned that I order my gear online in the States and have it delivered to my U.S. address. And when I travel to the U.S., which lately is about once a year, I bring all of my new toys back with me, kind of like Christmas, even though it's usually summer. Two other toys that I ordered online were the Shure SM7B microphone and the Mackie 402 VLZ3 mixer. Yeah, lots of numbers and letters, huh? The Shure SM7B microphone is one of the best known broadcast microphones and can be found in radio stations all over the world. I wanted it because it is an excellent dynamic microphone with one caveat. It requires a lot of gain to sound good. Shore recommends plus 60 decibels of gain. Well, my new Mackie mixer has plus 60 decibels of gain. Remember though, I'm about 8,000 miles from the address where my stuff is being delivered, so I can only go by specs and ratings from others in terms of my gear until I actually hold it in my hands. I did hour after hour of internet research trying to find out whether the Mackie mixer I bought would power the SM7B correctly. And I really wasn't able to find anything conclusive. You see, if I went to the States, picked up my stuff, and only later found that the mixer couldn't do the job fully, then I'm, uh, I'm screwed. I'm out of luck. So, during my searches for this info, I did see a lot of information about an inline mic preamp called the Cloud Lifter. This preamp claimed to boost the gain by 20 decibels of clean gain. The only thing that I didn't like about it were that the price was $150 and the unit was not really small. It was during my research into the cloud lifter that I read about the Triton Audio Fethead. The Fethead had all the same claims, backed up by some reviews that I read, with the added advantages of a $99 price and also a much smaller size. These two factors tip the scale in Triton's favor. I've got to say that the thought of spending another $99 for something that I really wasn't even sure I needed was a bit disconcerting, but the thought that I might need it and not have it was even more disconcerting. A logical person might think, well, why didn't you try your Sure mic with your Mackie mixer when you first arrived and then order the Fethead only if you needed it. This is good logic, of course, but if I did need it and couldn't get it in time before I left the States, I mean, this was not ordered from Amazon, then I'm screwed. Shipping to Russia using a dependable service would cost as much as the Fethead, so I rolled the dice and ordered the Fethead. I ordered it from zenaudio.com, and the shipping, 
first-class U.S. mail was free. Warren from Zen Audio was great and very helpful with all questions. You can order directly from Triton Audio, which is located in the Netherlands, and actually in terms of shipment to Russia, they would have shipped it to me in Russia for $106 total, including insured shipping. But I didn't know this at the time. Besides, I paid less, got great service from Zen Pro Audio, and I'm happy with my purchasing experience. Well, I guess that this is enough history, and now I'll talk about the Fethead. I'm producing both an audio and video version of this podcast, so if you're listening to the audio version and I say things like, you'll notice, blah, 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 it's not because I'm crazy. It was for the benefit of the video version. I'll post audio samples using my SM7B mic and Mackie mixer, both with and without the Fethead, feeding directly into my computer and also feeding directly into my H2 Zoom. The Fethead is not very big, about 3 inches long and about 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. Uh, for you, anyone other than the States, that would be 7.5 centimeters long by about 1.5 centimeters in diameter. It's metal and seems to be quite well built. The nice thing is that it can plug in directly into the shore or any other microphone for that matter, and then the XLR cable plugs into the other end. Here's a photo of the Fethead, and here's another one giving it some scale. In this next photo, you can see how I connect it to my Shure SM7B. First, I'm going to run the signal from the tape out RCA jacks on my Mackie through an analog to digital interface into my computer where I'll be using Hindenburg Journalist. This sample will be without the fat head. I find that I need to turn my gain knob up to about 3 o'clock or 3.30 in order to get a good signal. So that is one of the audio clips which you can listen to. All of the audio clips will be raw and will be in an uncompressed format, specifically WAVE. My second sample will be with the fat head. And in this sample, I'll be using the same setup, but this time my gain will be set at about 10 o'clock on the Mackie. My third sample will be using the Mackie with the same game settings as before. Uh, actually, my third sample will be using the Mackie with, the, with uh, gain set for about 11.30, uh, but this time feeding from the RCA tape out jacks on the Mackie to an eighth inch stereo headphone jack plugged directly into my Zoom H2 recorder. This time it is without the FET head and the gain is set at about 3.30 on the mixer. The fourth sample is again direct into the Zoom H2 as in the last sample, but this time with the FET head and the volume set to about 11.30 on the Mackie mixer. You know, the Fethead is a great little product if you use dynamic microphones which require more gain. My Shure SM7B falls into this category. My Audio-Technica ATR2100 mic does not need the extra gain boost. In addition to dynamic mics, the Fethead will also be a real help for people using ribbon microphones, which typically need a lot of gain in order to bring out the best in their sound. The specifications for the Fethead state that it will add an additional plus 20 decibels of gain and clean gain at that. Now listen, I'm not a tech person in terms of microphone specs, but Ronan Murphy of the RoninsRecordingShow.com is pretty much an expert with acoustic equipment and recording and mixing. Ronan did a very technical comparison between the Fethead and the Cloudlifter. His review is full of all kinds of technical tests that he did in technical terms that are way over my head. So if you're interested in the extreme technical details, I advise that you watch Ronan's very technical review. I'll post a link in my show notes. Spoiler alert! Ronan found very little difference between the two preamps. He did find that the Fethead increased the gain by about 2 decibels more than the Cloudlifter. 
He found a very, very slight preference for the FET head when used with a dynamic mic, but with the cloud lifter when used with ribbon mics, although he found the overall differences to be negligible. He also found, using technical measurement equipment, that there was virtually no added noise while gaining the extra 20 decibels, which is fantastic. I'll mention again that I'm not some kind of technical wizard, but I also realize that many podcasters are also not technical wizards, so I just thought that I'd share what I'd learned about this great little product and hope that my experience may help others who use either dynamic or ribbon mics. Some of you may have a mixer that you use that has nice pre's, but find that they are starting to introduce noise as you are trying to properly power your dynamic mic or ribbon mic. This FET head will allow you to set your gain a lot lower without introducing the noise sometimes present at the upper end on the pre's on your mixer and get an additional plus 20 decibels of gain. This may allow you to hang on to your present mixer instead of having to buy a preamp type box or a new mixer. There are actually three different versions of the FET head. The standard which I have at $99 the FetHead filter, which has a built-in high-pass filter at $105, and the FetHead Phantom, which allows the Phantom power to pass through in case you need to boost the gain on a condenser microphone, and this goes for $110. For my Russian listeners, this is one of the few times that you can actually have a good product shipped to you without breaking the bank in terms of shipping. It will cost $106 for the FetHead and shipping, uh, f shipped from the Netherlands, including shipping insurance. Thanks for listening to my podcast. I'll be back again next week, hopefully with an English language tip. Remember, you can watch or listen to all my podcasts at www.markinrussia.com. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>